Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you your love reading for the week. In this reading Taurus, we are going to take a look at your energy, the energy of your person. We're going to expand on that using the tarot and then towards the end of this reading Taurus, we're going to grab a couple of oracle cards for some closing messages for you and kind of just to tie it all in and wrap it all up. Do keep in mind this is a general reading so take what speaks for you and leave what doesn't. Feel free to show your support, guys, if you enjoy anything um, that comes through this reading or if you like the sound of my voice. You can do that by liking, sharing and subscribing. There's also a new special feature called the Special Thanks. You will find that in the drop downs box below as well. Okay, Taurus, let's dive on in. We're going to take a look at your energy and the energy of your person. Feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you're feeling this week in love. Okay, or well, let me know the sign of the person that you're dealing with too, because I like to see uh, what zodiac signs are pairing with which zodiac signs, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, Taurus, I really love reading for you guys. If you're new here to the channel, my moon is in Taurus. Okay, so I love feeling grounded and stable. Um, I love feeling safe and secure in my relationships. I also am... I like to take my time when it comes to love as well. I don't like to rush things. And it needs to feel real and be real for me. I like to keep it real as well, Taurus. So if that resonates with you, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. All right, Taurus, how are you coming through this week? You're coming through as the otter. Nice. Downward pointing triangle speaks to water. Water, so you could be catching feelings for someone here, Taurus. I feel like you're catching feelings for someone who you would consider as a friend, okay? Or maybe this person is very friendly towards you, or is very friendly with you, okay? And your person is coming through as the starfish, wow! So you're coming through both as double water here, okay? So it seems like you both have feelings for each other. Okay, it, I feel like the person that you're connecting to here has started something here with you, but it's kind of like with the starfish, they've kind of gotten a little bit lazy or maybe they've stopped. Okay, I, I still feel like this person likes you or is romantically interested in you, but with the starfish here, there's an element of laziness coming through this person. I feel like this person hasn't had to really work too hard in previous relationships, so I feel like they're carrying this into your connection i feel like you've got your eye on this person you're wondering what they're doing where are they you know this person showed interest in you but it's like mm, what are they up to now they've been gone a little bit quiet okay they've gone a little bit quiet you could be connecting to a water sign here taurus cancer scorpio pisces let's get some more messages around your person okay they're coming through as double water now. So strong water energy here. Strong water energy. They're coming through as the beaver. I feel like this is a very loyal person. I feel like this might be someone that you've known for quite some time. I feel like this person likes to take their time when it comes to love. Okay, I feel like they're kind of off doing their own thing right now. They could be facing some fears that have arisen for them. I feel like this is something that they hold on to. I'm not sure if they shared this with you right now, but I feel like this is something that they hold on to. But I do want to say here, Taurus, I do get the sense that this person is very loyal by nature. Okay, this person may have family, children. Okay, they may have other obligations outside of this connection. And I feel like they're very committed to those obligations. Okay. But I do get the sense that you're dealing with someone who's very sensitive. I feel like they like to take their times. Um, they could be a little bit bashful too. I do have to say that. Okay, yeah, you're very much in your head about this person. Okay, with the dragonfly here. Okay, I feel like communication has maybe slowed down between the both of you. I feel like you're keen to hear from this person or talk to this person. I get the sense that you're keen to talk to this person or hear from this person. Okay, you may be even thinking about reaching out to this person. 
Okay, maybe you're a little worried, maybe you're a little concerned, maybe you would like to help them if you know what is going on with them right now. But let's expand on these messages, Taurus. Okay, first card coming through is the Daughter of Swords. Wow, aren't you in your head about this person? Daughter of Swords, feeling curious, you could be spying on them, you could be watching them from afar. Do you get the sense that you're keeping an eye on their socials if you are connected to their socials? Maybe you're asking friends and family, what are they up to? Is everything okay? Um, but you're feeling very curious. You want knowledge, you want information, you want answers. Okay, you're gathering information about this person as well. Maybe you're wondering if they're single. Um, you've got the Mother of Wands here, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do feel that you're very attracted towards this person. I feel like you're plucking up the courage to maybe reach out, call them, make contact with them here. But I feel at the same time you're feeling very um, protective of your heart. Okay, it could be a little bit of jealousy arising here too or feelings of jealousy coming up. I get the sense, I don't know why, but I'm just getting that sense. Okay, it could be because you're in your head. We've got the temperance here. I do see here that you're trying to temper your feelings and emotions. You're trying to not get ahead of yourself when it comes to this person. Okay, you're trying not to get ahead of yourself. You're trying to remain cool calm and collected you're trying not to get in your head about it but at the same time you can't help but let your mind or your thoughts wander off try not to create too many stories in your head taurus about this or about what they're up to um let's have a look at their energy oh. mother of cups mother of cups strong strong water energy coming through for this person okay uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, I do feel like this person is very um, nurturing. I feel like they have the potential to have or develop strong feelings for you here. But at the same time, there's a reservation here. Okay, I, I'm getting the sense that they're feeling very reserved. I feel like they would like to take their time. I don't feel like this person is in a hurry to rush into any kind of connection. Because when this person commits, they really commit and they fall hard. Okay, Taurus, it could be that this person is a, is a parent, is a mother, is a father. Um, it could be that they have children and I feel like they're tending to other obligations right now, especially if they've gone a little quiet. Okay, we've, they're coming through. Uh, they've got the death card in their energy here. Scorpio energy and the moon card. Wow, Cancer, Cancer Pisces energy here. There's some fears coming up to the surface for this person and I feel like they need to clear out something here. It could be in relation to their family or their children, I do have to say. But I see the moon as um, a fear for this person, only because there's a lot of dark energy over here. I feel like they're afraid to sort of fall head over heels or they're afraid to really open up their heart to you and it's probably because this person's been hurt maybe they've gone through some kind of a separation or an ending here maybe they feel it's a little too soon um, to enter into another relationship so quickly but i feel like here this person maybe need to complete something or close something out here with the death card I feel like with the death card, I don't know, I'm getting skeletons in the closet. I feel like there's some skeletons in the closet. There could be something here that this person is hiding from you. And I feel like at this point, they're just not ready to reveal what it is. Okay, maybe they're afraid that you won't love them or accept them for whatever is lurking in the shadows here. So let's grab some oracle cards for you, Taurus. Okay, we've got codependency. Wow, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic. Yeah, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, what did I say? I said that this person is afraid to kind of maybe let you in very, very quickly because they do have this tendency to fall head over heels very, very quickly. And then they develop this sort of 
um, codependent, strong um, attachment to the person that they're opening their heart up to. I feel like maybe it's a lesson of theirs or a fear of theirs. And on some level, it's impacting it's impacting on your current situation. It could be an, another form of addiction. It doesn't have to be codependency. It could be that this person, you know, is a drinker. I'm seeing a cup here. So maybe they're hiding the fact that they depend on alcohol, okay, to kind of build up the courage or I'm, I'm hearing Dutch courage, okay, trying to come across like, you know, that they're confident, but deep down inside there's a lot of fears, this person knows that they need to put something to a stop or something to an end here. Otherwise, it is going to ruin this connection because I do see that they really like you. Okay, we've got when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. So I feel here, Taurus, what you need to do in this situation is just to have faith that everything's going to work out exactly the way it needs to be, okay? If this person is meant to be for you, I feel like all you need to do right now is just kind of lean back a little bit and be receptive when you feel intuitively called to be receptive and just see what this person does, okay? If you feel intuitively, okay, if you feel intuitively that you should reach out, or make contact with this person that that then that's going to be the right thing to do for you okay you need to have faith and trust that this is a sign from the universe to maybe um take action i mean you have got the mother of wands here and the mother of wands she's she's an energy of someone who is going to do something about it especially if your person is kind of leaning back over here and also, too, this card is asking for you, it's kind of like a reminder to not get in your head. Don't make up stories because you don't really know what's going on. The best thing you can do in this situation is to reach out and find out what is going on, okay? Sort of being open to hearing what this person has to say or get curious, So hopefully that resonated with you, Taurus. They're your messages. Don't forget to hit that like button if this reading helped you in any way here today. Um, drop a comment in the comment section below as well. Let me know. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye, Taurus.